All right, guys, welcome back to the Crypto Boys. Joe P here with you today talking about Bitcoin. What the heck is going on with Bitcoin? It's up, it's down, it's all over the place, it's dropping like crazy, it's up again, and it's down. So I want to go into what I'm thinking is going on right now, probably why. Maybe we talk about the Fed here a little bit. Um, you guys got to get updated along with me. So let's get into it of what the heck is going on with Bitcoin. Okay, so we all know that Bitcoin leads the pack. It is the ringleader when it comes to cryptocurrency. Everyone knows what Bitcoin is. It's the biggest market cap. It's got the most money invested into it. Um, it is very, very important in the crypto space. Now, what I will say, traditional markets down like crazy too. They were down the other day, insane amounts in fear that the Fed is going to say, hey, inflation, we're gonna, or, um, we're gonna push the interest rates back up like crazy. They actually came out and said they are not going to push or change the interest rates right now, but in the near future, they're planning on doing it. Um, they also said, subject to change. You know, check back with us whenever we want to, we can make changes. What I will say too, the Fed's not looking out for like your money or the stock market or anything like that. All they really do is make sure that inflation is relatively stable and um you know the 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 spending power is about stable okay so something's got to change it's been going on for much too long interest rates have been basically zero for a long time now everything that i've seen everything that i've heard potentially by march they're going to start hiking those interest rates back up okay so that being said what has happened to bitcoin in the last couple days everyone was fearful that this new news was going to just tank the market right now which it kind of did i'll be completely honest with you so are we in a bear market I personally think so that's fine that's okay we are or whatever else or is it just that the outside sources is uh the big thing is going on here all right so why don't we dive into the bitcoin chart and see what's actually going on on coin market cap i love coin market cap i like coin gecko um coin market cap just happens to be my go-to it's the easy one it's the first one that i click on so let's check it out here we are the last day what did i tell you it's up it's down it's up it's down it cannot decide what it wants to do it is sitting at a beautiful and by beautiful, I mean not beautiful, $37,000, uh, So let's look at the last, let's look at the last seven days. It's been red, it's been dirty, it's been down. Um, you know, it was up to that 41 mark. It fell way below it here in the, you know, in a couple days really, um, had another big tank. From there, it has gone up, it's calmed down, it's gone up, it's gone down. It's, it's played this rough battle in this game. Now, what I do wanna look at is this piece of the puzzle right here in the last couple days. I think that there's kind of actually a trend, a trading trend, um, a continuation pattern that we are going to talk about. Again, I do think that we are in a bear market. I think things are going down. Now, this doesn't have to be scary. This is not a bad thing. Doesn't mean that bear markets are scary. Yeah, they suck, you know, because you're probably in red because most of you guys, most of us, you know, we got in last year. So if you got in later the second half of the year, you probably bought closer towards the top of the market, meaning that, yeah, since we're down, you're in red. I would highly encourage anyone, again, not financial advice, not financial advisor by any means, but I would highly encourage anyone, us at the Crypto Boys, we're not selling anything. We are not selling a single thing, so why should you? If you invested in the projects that you truly believe in, Bitcoin, for example, it's not going anywhere, guys. Bitcoin is not going to fall off the face of the earth. They're looking for more regulation of cryptocurrency all the time. They wanna make sure, and by they, I mean, the government, the US government, for sure, for us um, here in the United States, they wanna make sure that you're, they can track the money, see where it's going in and out. They don't want um, people stealing money or laundering money or whatever else, all those illegal things, of course. So they wanna keep track of it. And this is kind of a way where they're like, mm, I don't know if we can keep track of it, so we need regulations. We got it. But here's what I will say. Let's kind of dive back into this pattern that I was talking about. Um, I think it is really important because maybe I'm onto something. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm wrong, been wrong before. But here we go. This pattern, it is a bear flag. So this is like the easiest drawing that I could possibly find of a bear flag. There's much more complex ones. It never looks exactly like this, but it's a continuation pattern as we are in a downtrend. It 
feels like we have this bounce back in some way, shape, or form. And then it's not always one, two, three. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. But then we hit a point where, okay, well, is this going to be the breakout? If we go above this, we're going to the moon. If we go below this, we're in trouble. And then you hit that that bounce back, and then it just keeps going and going and going, and it hits new lower lows, continuing that bear trend. Okay, so what I have been looking at, Colin doesn't 100% agree with me here, but bear with me for a second. Okay, what I've been seeing is this channel that we're bouncing back and forth between. This one was kind of a, a goofball there. It didn't go back all the way down to the channel itself, but I feel like we are bouncing back and forth between this channel um, right here with that massive downtrend to bring it there. So we were going down, 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 down. We got into this channel up and down and up and down and up and down. I feel like there's got to be an end here. Either we hit this, we break out Collins magic box of 42K. Maybe that's that's where we hit that breakout. I don't know what the heck is going on why he keeps doing that. So it goes up, it goes up above that 42K and then we rise to the moon back to all time highs or we do this guy right here, we go below it, and then we're sinking back down. If we break this support at this 32K, I truly believe that we're going to 25K. That's probably going to be a sitting point. Um, that's where I'm going to probably start accumulating um, more Bitcoin is going to be in the 25K range. I do truly firmly believe in Bitcoin in itself. Um, I think you guys do too. That's probably why you're here and we're giving you these ideas of, hey, what's your take? Well, we're giving you our take. Okay, this is our opinion, of course, here, the crypto boys. Um, you know, so 25K, when Bitcoin gets there, I think I'm going to start accumulating again because below that, I don't think it's going to 10K. I've been wrong before, of course, but um, you know that 25K, I think maybe 15 to 25K is probably gonna be the, the bottom. Again, that is my personal opinion. So if we are getting to the bottom and we're hanging out there and we're bouncing back and forth, that's probably when altcoins are gonna be crashing and crushing and we're down 50% in some altcoins, 40% in some altcoins of their all-time highs. If it's getting to 60, 70, 80, 90 plus percent, um, down from all-time highs, that's when we know for sure we're definitely in a bear market. And those, my friends, are the times to accumulate your altcoins. So yeah, is a 50% off um, altcoin a great buy? Yes. But is a 90% altcoin a better buy? Duh. Yeah, absolutely. And will you get it timed perfectly? No, there's no way. No one will. I mean, if unless you're CZ and um, you know BNB, they seem to sell at the top every single time for some reason. So they must have some inside information. But I am not CZ. I am Joe P here with the Crypto Boys. We got a dope sign. We got a little moon guy with Bitcoin on his on his chest. Um, that is brand new to the Crypto Boys studio. So if you guys like the uh, little moon man we got in the background going to the moon, you gotta like this video. Give us a thumbs up. Also, while you're here. You might as well subscribe, boom, hit the little button that helps us out, um, get more information out to the community here in the bear market, or as Colin would say, the soon to be bull market run again, um, which is totally fine and awesome. So guys, as always, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a take of where the market is going. What the heck are we doing? Are we going up? Are we going down? Why are we going up and down, back and forth? Um, so I had to get the information out to you. As always, guys, thank you for being with the fittest crypto channel on YouTube. We will catch you guys next time.